Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Welcome everyone and thanks so much for stopping by and joining me and today I have a design team project to share with you guys from Angel Dream Crafts and if you are new to my channel I am designing for Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. She sells the most wonderful laces and trims, bling, different embellishments that are really fun to use in all sorts of projects. And if you open up that description box, I do have a link listed below for her store so you can easily find it. And then I also have links for some of the other ladies that are designing for her this winter quarter. And then also, if you guys are in the U.S., she does sell her laces and trims. If you spend $35, she does offer free shipping. For today's project, I decided to create some little scissor cases or scissor holders. It's been something I've wanted to do for a while just to house some of my fabric scissors so that I kind of keep them separated from some of my other scissors and I don't accidentally grab them when I'm working on some of my paper projects. And so I did create two different um, paper or scissor cases or scissor pouches, whatever you want to call them. And they turned out really cute, I think. And so I'm going to take the scissors out so you guys can kind of check them out a little closer here. So here's the first one that I created. And Kim has so many fun little laces and trims in her store that I, I just had a blast working on these two little cases that I created. So that's the front side. And then the back side, I left this one pretty plain. And then here's the other one that I created. this one just really catches the light on this one. It's really cute. And so to begin with, I did end up creating a template and I just, this was my own template. And I will just show you guys real quick if you wanted to try to create one of these on your own. So what I ended up doing is drawing on a piece of chipboard and I created a triangle. And I decided on my sizes, I wanted to make sure that my pocket would fit a scissors and so that's how I based my design on. You could easily alter this to make it smaller by making a smaller triangle. So I started off by drawing a triangle and then I went ahead and tried to draw a half circle up on the top just to meet the two corners. And so that was the base right here of my case and I made two of these. So there's one on the front and the back and then in the middle I did house a piece of felt just so that there was a little stability to it and then after I had created my bases I went ahead and cut off the top piece across and then that created my pocket that I used for for that so that's how I constructed it and again I just used some heavier white cotton material just as my base but I think you could use almost anything especially if you add some sort of piece of felt or some sort of padding in between the two that almost any type of material would work for this. So for this one I started off by just layering a piece of lace on the back side and I went around with this trim which is from my stash and then I started to decorate the front and the first thing I decided to decorate is this top part right here and what I went ahead and did is in Kim's shop she sells this applique and it had a whole bunch of these pieces that look very similar to this on there. And then it also had this as part of it, this trim. And so I started off layering this trim just kind of on the edge of this pocket right here. And I went up and around and I kind of had to cut it in between the little circles here just so that it would curve around nicely. So that's how I started it off. And then if you look at this little piece right here, it's just the top of this part of the collar applique. So I glued that down. And then to finish up the top part of it, I added this edge trim right here. And this came off of a dangle that Kim sells in her shop. And so the dangle that I used for that top part was this dangle right here. And so this came off of, I cut it off of the top piece right here. And I had used the dangles, if you guys watched my other design team project this month, this month, which was a dress form, I used the dangles on the bottom part of this, on that, and so I just cut up the top part 
for this part of the trim. And then this, I think I'm going to use as maybe a side piece, like on a tag or something down the road in a junk journal or a side of a page in a junk journal. So I'll be able to use that piece on something too. So nothing goes to waste in, in my craft room. And so that was my top part. And then to create the actual pocket part down here, I started off with this gorgeous pink trim that Kim carries in her shop. And it's embroidered and sheer. So you can see if it has some embroidered flowers on it. And then I added pearls to each of the flowers. And so what I ended up doing is just cutting off pieces and I went from the base to the top and so I cut off a little piece here and I cut it off another piece here I cut it off and I kept on doing that all the way up so you can kind of see and then I ended up trimming it if I needed to if any of it overhung on the sides I carefully trimmed it and then after I was done with that I added this edging trim to the sides right here of the pocket and that came off of another dangle from Kim shop it was this gorgeous one. And so I just cut this little piece up off the top. And so I edged the rest of the pocket with that. And then for the fun part, which was actually decorating it, I did go ahead and create this flower from another trim in her shop. And I have some pink left of that one. So I'll just show you guys what that one looks like. It's kind of a two layered trim. There's some tool underneath it. And so I created the flower, which is pretty easy you just kind of roll it around a little piece of felt and you just kind of keep on rolling it and you either you can start and work your way out or work your way in it doesn't really matter and just keep on going so I did that and then in the center she's carrying these really cute cabochons in her shop and these ones are kind of some shabby pink flower ones and here's the the other ones that I received on my design team package so I went ahead and put that as my centerpiece and then she also carries some rhinestone trim and so I went ahead and edged that also just to set it off a little bit more so that was my flower and then I also decided that I, my flower needed some leaves so I took some more pieces of that collar applique and I added those as leaves for my flower or flower there and then also underneath here, I went ahead and before I attached the flower to the actual piece, I hung some of the dangle trims and I didn't pull this out of my stash, but she has this really pretty dangle trim like this with the leaves on it. And that one's really popular in her shop. I think she runs out of it quite a bit. So if you see it and you want it, make sure you add it to your cart right away because I do know she sells out of that one quite a bit. And then this other one right here, which I showed you guys already, that was the one that I used here on the side also. And then I also went ahead and attached, she carries some cute little charms in her store. And then also some of the little bulb pins or the gourd pins. And so I attached that down here with the little fairy on it. And I thought that turned out really cute. And also on this one dangle trim, I did add some flat back pearls to it also on the top trim right there. So that was the first case that I created and I had so much fun creating this one I went ahead and decided to create a second one to house because I have two fabric scissors to hold my other fabric scissors. And so again I started off you know pretty much the same as I did with the other one and this one I ended up using some trim from my stash to edge the back and I also used this pink trim. And I edged the back side of this so then it would show through on this side. And for this one, I decided to use, she has this gorgeous applique or wedding lace trim in her store, which looks like this. And it's quite large. And so I cut this one up to make it work for me on the back of here. So this is part of the trim right there. And this is kind of the main part of that lace and then a part of the flower. So I just cut it up so it would fit nicely onto the back side. And then I also cut it up so it would fit again on the front side. So everything you see in this sector is all part of this trim right here. I thought that turned out really cute. And so um, then after I did that, I went ahead and I added the rhinestone trim that she carries in her shop to the side because I wanted a little bit more bling added to this. 
And then I attached a tassel that she carries in her shop. And at one time I know she had pink and white, and this is a white one. I attached another one of her bulb pins and then she had these cute little scissors in her store too. So I attached one of those to the bottom. And then I also, on top of that then, after I glued this down, I attached a piece of bling from her shop. And, um, and I had this bling left over from a previous design team package from her. And it's a little bow tie or a bow with the little pearls and rhinestones on it. Just because I thought I needed something else on this. And I was debating about using another one of these. Or she also carries these really cute flowers too. And I thought about putting that right there. But the pinks weren't exactly the same. So I went ahead and added this bow. Which I think turned out really cute. It just really makes it shine. And again, I cut up parts of the applique for here and I just kind of rearranged it so it would fit on the inside of the pocket. And again, I used a little bit of one of those dangle trims for the top part of the pocket right there. And so that is my second one. And then on the back side of this, again, I showed you that, that I added some of that wedding trim. And then I also, before I glued this piece down, I added a little hanger, a little piece of ribbon for my stash, just so I could actually hang it up on my wall if I wanted to for the scissors that I don't use very often. But you could definitely easily make these two if you wanted to make them more for like a Happy Meal type thing and stick some goodies in here for, for a friend. You could easily do that too. So you wouldn't necessarily have to take that pattern to make it as a scissor case or a scissor pouch. You could use it for something else. So that is my completed project for this month. Hopefully you guys were inspired. And like I said, I had a ton of fun creating these. They were a quick and easy project once I decided how I wanted to lay out my laces and trims. They went, it went pretty fast. And I really enjoyed it. And again, if you guys are interested in any of the products that I used today or similar ones, make sure you go and check out Kim's store. Again, I have a link listed below in the description box. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.